Today I am super excited about the topic we're going to discuss, and it might be dear to your hearts too, which is how do you protect your name from someone stealing it? Now part of the confusion about protection is, well, what kind of name are we talking about? So there are five kinds of names that I want to go over with you today. One's the creator, creator name, and I'll tell you what that is. Next is the influencer playing the role of the influencer in the name associated with that. The third is the brand name or your personal brand name. The fourth is the trade name. And the fifth is the trademark. And part of the problem is the confusion just around what those things are. So let's pretend that you love dogs, especially puppies, because they're so cute and they're so furry and they're just fun. Right? When I was little, we had a German Shepherd husky mix and his paws were much bigger than the rest of his body so we'd run down the driveway and we'd do a sharp turn and king our puppy dog would follow us try to follow us but he couldn't make the turn he wasn't coordinated enough so he tried to make the turn and he ended up rolling over and over you know and he was barking and he was chirping and he was happy about it but it was sort of crazy and funny to watch him do that so let's say you have that same passion you have a little puppy dog and so you just want to start taking some videos and posting those videos online and sharing them with others. And that's a pretty exciting part of your life. So you put some videos out there and you say, hey, this would be more fun if I go to the park. So you go to the park and start meeting other dog owners, pet owners, puppy owners. And they want to be in your videos too. You start having followers. And you're just creating this content because you're passionate about it. There's joy. You want to share the fun and the excitement. But before you know it, you've got a few hundred followers, maybe even a few thousand. People start to ask you questions. Hey, how did you train your dog to do that trick on that last video? Or what kind of puppy food do you think really works the best? Or, My puppy has fleas, what should I do? So now you're answering questions, you're doing a little bit of research, and before you know it, you've moved from creator to influencer. And there's some opportunities you realize to make some money here. You could have local sessions, training sessions, where everybody gets together at the park, and sure enough, you can teach them how to do certain things that you've learned how to do or that you've researched how to do. And so they can start subscribing to some of this content online where you video these educational tutorials. So you have the on-site, in-person, you have the video tutorials. And now you're developing that influencer personal brand name. And you're thinking, man, I'm making money now. I need a company name. Maybe I use my brand name as my company name, but I need to file it. Well, who do you file it with? Well, you can file it with your county in some states. You can file it with your secretary of state in some states as your DBA. DBA, which stands for Doing Business As. Now, when you file that name, you may think, man, that's it. You know, the county's told me I can use it, or the state's told me I can use it. And so you're out there creating this content. But before you know it, you've got folks from different parts of the country that want to subscribe to your, your little tutorials. Or they want to maybe buy that pet food that you've designed yourself and you've started to sell online. Or those collars that you think are so cute and everyone else thinks are cute too. So now you're selling this stuff via the web around the country or adjacent states. Well, the sort of the next step to protect that name is a trademark, which is different than a trade name. A trademark affords you protection to use your name as a brand name. You know, that no one else now can steal from you. So as you get bigger and bigger and start making money, 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 lots of money, you know that as your brand and your reputation is curated by you and you bring some other people into your team to help you, and you're building this business that no one can steal it. No one can encroach upon that. No one can come up with a cheap knockoff and use the same name. That's what trademark's all about. You don't necessarily have that same protection with just a trade name or just using a name as a, your creator or as your influencer, you really do need to trademark it. Now, there's certain kinds of common law usage that you just get by naturally using that name as a trademark right off the bat. But best kind of protection is actually filing it as a trademark with the USPTO, United States Patent and Trademark Office. So you can go to USPTO.gov, and then you'll be able to actually search the name to make sure no one else is using it in other parts of the country 
and you can actually go through a process and register it. We recommend you use an attorney to do that, but if you don't want to use an attorney, you might be able to do it yourself. So just to recap, the five kinds of names, you may evolve through all five of these, or you may start at a different point. Creator, when you're just passionate about something, right, you just want to start doing some things and put some stuff out there on your Instagram page or your TikTok page because it's fun and exciting to share with friends. And then all of a sudden you start growing in popularity and, and exposure and people start asking you questions and you move from creator to influencer. And now you start to sell things, maybe content or maybe little products you develop. And now you have a personal brand. You're starting to brand your products with your name, your content with your name. And now you need a company under which to do this business with. That's the trade name. You're doing business as name. You might register with your county or your state. But if you really want to protect your name the right way, you file it as a trademark, either at the state, but even better, with the USPTO. Now, it's never too early to file that trademark. But a lot of folks won't do it until they get to be a certain size. Just don't forget to do it, because if you start making more and more and more money, someone might try to steal that name. They might want to play off all that equity and all that value you've created, and you don't want to let them do that. So have fun and much success to you.